ever since I was a little kid, my dream was to play college football. My name is Parker Daw. I'm from Pleasant Grove, Utah. I'm playing offensive guard for BYU. Did I think I could play Division I football? Honestly, in high school, no. I didn't have a lot of people who were recruiting me. Um, I was undersized. Um, I just had a lot of things that were going against me. Tryout at BYU was one of the most craziest days I've ever had in my life. I remember I showed up and my heart was racing and I was incredibly nervous and I had tons of anxiety. And I just, I kind of felt out of place. Like, like I didn't belong. I'll never forget after the tryout, um, I went up to one of the coaches and I just, I begged him. And I just said, coach, like, I know you don't know me. I just told him, I'll do whatever it takes. Like, just give me a chance. Um, and I promise you that, that I'll be worth it. They posted a list and I saw guys walk up the stairs. I looked on the walk-on sign and, and my name was on it. I got really emotional because I just, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I had made a Division One football team. But I just remember I came downstairs and started crying and I hugged my dad and I told him I did it and I had made it. And that was one of the most um, amazing days I've had in my life. So the first season with BYU, it was really hard. And uh, the coaches earlier that day told me that I had an opportunity to play the lion, but I needed to put on 100 pounds. Jokingly, they said that, but they were pretty, kind of serious at the same time. And I went home and I looked at my wife and I was like, babe, I, I gotta put on 100 pounds. And she looked at me and said, okay, let's do it. I returned my second year because I loved being part of the team. I, I, I was on a division one football team. It, it didn't ever get any easier. It was still really challenging. So going to my third year, I realized that I had a chance, that I had a shot to contribute. And I did actually get the opportunity to start in two football games against Wagner and also against San Jose State. So leading up to my scholarship, I kind of got to the point where mentally I was okay without making it. But then one day they call a team meeting and I walked up there and I saw all these cameras everywhere. And uh, Kalani got up there and then he looked at me and said, Parker Dodd, as of today you're on four head scholarship. And, and uh, I got super excited and, Tears started coming down my eyes and I started crying. And, you know, I called my wife right after that and told her, and I just said, babe, like, you know, we did it. And uh, I got a scholarship and, you know, we did this. And she started crying and it was just one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me. When I go play, I play for those who can't play themselves. I play for my family. I play for my friends. And I play for a higher purpose. It's not all about just football, but hopefully that through football, I can represent my Heavenly Father. I can represent my Savior. Whenever I had, you know, rough days of practice or I didn't believe in myself, I write Remember Why You Play on my arm to help inspire people that they can remember why they play. Hey, go get him. Hey, we'll see you, man.